Hi. Uh, please introduce yourself. So I'm Giovanni. I'm the CEO and founder of Exeter. Exeter is a Swedish deep tech company based out of Stockholm. We have developed a new solar cell. This is solar panel. This is a solar panel that converts light energy to electrical energy, indoor and outdoor. Indoor, there's enough light. Indoor is enough light. We get the best solars, indoor solar cell in the world. What's the efficiency or, you know, there's a number uh, people use? Indoor, you calculate more like milliamps, depending on the lamp and the, the it's a bit technical, but I can tell you this, we're able to power billions and billions of devices. Let me show you a few examples. All right. Remote controls. How many times have you been really irritated in your house because the remote controls need to change, uh, exchange the battery? Very annoying. With our solution, the solar cell is here, it's part of the remote control, and it's completely integrated. It's a bit difficult. It just looks to see. like a, it looks like the regular plastic case. It, it does. So the plastic case is the solar cell, and the solar cell is the plastic case. That's it's like a dream to turn the plastic cases into solar cells. Yes. And you are. We are. And not only that, we have other ex examples I'll show you as well. Let me take you on this side, show you. Was, was that so, just a prototype or was actually launched, this r remote control? That the remote control with Philips will be launched this year. It's already launched. It will come on the market this year. Another product with Philips are these headphones that also will, were just announced and will come later this year as well. And you see the headband here, the solar cell? It gives enough power to provide these with eternal battery life. You never need to charge these. That's pretty cool. Never need to charge your wireless uh, headphones. Do I see Adidas logo in there? Adidas. This is Adidas headphones. These are on the market since a year and a half. And you can see right here, that's our logo, Powerfoil. So the Powerfoil is the headband. The headband is the Powerfoil. And this product here, it's never need to charge it if you use it normally. We have shipped a lot of these. Over the a last lot year. of these. We have so seven you products. We have seven products on the shelf. We've shipped hundreds of thousands of products since two and a half years. So th the first 16 years of this company, we developed seven products. This week alone, we announced six new. So this is the start of a huge year for Exeter. Wow. Let me show you something else. Yeah. Self-powered speaker. This is a speaker. Here's the solar cell, you see this shape here? So we can print the solar cell in any shape or form. Wow. To allow it to power, in this case, a speaker. Who doesn't want a self-power speaker? Water, waterproof, uh, air um, dust proof, you can bring it out. It's really cool. That's, uh, that's a lot of... Uh that's a lot of potential. I don't understand how you, can, how you can do any shape. Yeah, so because we print nano ink on a proprietary substrate, much like when you print in your house, you can print a photo, print a rectangle, a fruit with a bite in it, whatever you want, right? We can print anything and it still converts light to electricity. Print anything, any shape. Any shape, any dimension, different colors, different textures. It can look like leather, textile, brush steel, carbon fiber, wood, anything. Are there silver nanowires on this? No silver nanowires. Are there no any lead. perovskites? No perovskites. No nanowires. No lead. No organic lead. No uh, lithium. No cobalt. No toxic materials at all. No rare earth metals. Metals. No precious metals. No nothing. This is a super sustainable solar cell developed by me and my colleagues over the last 16 years. We have 280 granted patents. We raised 200 million dollars. And we're building the largest solar cell factory in Europe, in Stockholm, right now. That's it. In Stockholm? In the city center of Stockholm. We have zero emissions to air and water. It's a normal house. I'm just doing it from a house. Uh, can you say anything about, like, how does it work? It works on the principle of artificial photosynthesis. So I have a dye, a color that absorbs photons. Then I have a layer of titanium dioxide, which is the white pigmented white paint. The photons are collecting, uh, collected by the dye that inject electrons, electricity, which is then transferred out to the plus and minus, out to the cables, and then back. We have electrolytes in between here. So how, does, uh, how does it know where to go from plus and minus the on the material? The, ar the architecture we have done controls all that. It's all automatic. It's a regenerative system. Nothing is consumed. It just circles round and round. 
Is it very, very expensive? It's not very expensive. The added cost for a typical headphone is around thirty to forty dollars. Thirty to forty dollars. Yeah. And that's for this whole part. Here. And the electronics to it, and the whole control system in the in, in the headphone. Is there any chance you can make that go down to thirty or forty cents, or like like so it really becomes everywhere? Thirty forty cent is difficult. I mean, it's a factor of hundred, but. For us, uh, we're always trying to get the price down, but we know that customers are prepared to pay $30 extra in retail to have a self-charging capacity. We know that already, because we have sold a lot, and we did a lot of service too. So that, that's okay, I think $30 is a really good price point. Uh, yeah, and it's good, good for the environment too. Like my Sony uh, earbuds, the, the battery got burnt after just less than two years. Yeah. Uh, but that was a firmware issue, but I guess it's a few years, the batteries in those. Um, so that would be the point of failure, is you need to swap the battery. Yeah. But is yeah. this gonna get worse over time? A little bit, but it will survive the products by far. A little <laughs> bit. Talking, yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all materials in the world, everything degrades, even yeah. steel or concrete or so. Yeah. But and, and, no uh, problem. If yeah. you look just uh, here. Let's have a look a here at the, at the self-powered bicycle helmets. Here's the helmet, it's a real helmet. Power foil is here, one, two, three solar cells. Connected, you see, now it's blinking, it's warning. I'm, I'm simulating, I'm wearing it by touching on the inside now. This helmet has no on-off button, no charge port. The light hitting the surface here is enough to always have a fully powered smart helmet, connected helmet. Wow. Yeah. On this all these huge. devices, do you need some kind of warning saying uh, low light somehow, get some more light? Or people uh, can just know they need to stop staying in the dark too I long. love that idea. So my idea is because we have an app to this, so you can see in the app live how much you're charging all the time in the phone. Wow. That we are up and ready. I, and I love your idea. We can have like, hey man, I'm in the dark here. Bring me out in the sun yeah. or bring me out in the dark. Uh, turn on the lights. Yeah, turn on lights. Put me on a bright spot. For five minutes or something. Yeah, we can, we can communicate through the app. So that's definitely going to happen. Gamification and explaining the, the use case. So how can the app know in real time uh, what's the exact charge? You have controller and yeah, everything yeah, in there? Yeah, everything, everything, everything. Uh, on the back end, uh, yeah. there's, there's a lot of, uh, it's a big booth you have here. You we have, have a lot the of largest demos. booth of all Swedish companies. All right. Yeah. Cool. Here's the hearing protector. This is our latest product. It was announced this week. This is uh, used by workers in airports, construction sites. Etc. It will protect your hearing. Uh, here is the solar cell again. You know this one was a bit tight. Let's have a look at this one. Here. Again, power foil powered by power foil by 3M. You will always be able to communicate with this. Never fear of running out of battery. Not being able to communicate, maybe in an airport, that could be a big risk for you. No more risk. No need to buy disposable batteries every week as you did before. Uh, but uh, I mean, if this technology is work, like it sounds it's working, right? Yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's working. Yeah, it does. Can you just print huge sheets and put them on the houses and we stuff? We could, yeah. Uh, but uh, what's the efficiency compared to the solar that's out so there? So if you look at utility scale solar, silicon is better. But if you look at the stuff that we do, and you know that there's a lot of big players for utility scale solar. The stuff we do, only we can do. No one else in the world can do this product that we can. So we've chosen to start there gives us a good uh, position when we talk to our customers. Because the silicon on the, on a square, by square meter is going to be uh, more affordable? Uh, or how super, about the efficiency? Yeah, super cheap. You don't want to compete with solar, you know, PV with Chinese government, just with the prices yeah. being so low. So, so we you, are cannot, you cannot beat that price on that square meter? No, no, no. no. no, no. So we're focusing on applications where we can have the benefit of our technology being resilient, durable, great looking, and no one else can do it. So that's what, where we've chosen these areas. All right, so uh, here at the CES, you have discussion with all kinds of uh, device makers. All the main, so we have already signed a lot of very big deals, very big deals that will start to materialize this year with and five of the largest companies in the world. And it's easy for your team to figure out how to cut all the shapes that needs to be done and everything? Yes. And Custom. optimize the designs and everything? Yeah. Yes, it's not difficult. It's a standard optimization. All right.